Yo, what's up guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and we are dropping a brand new series starting today covering email marketing specifically for e-commerce and Shopify. So for those of you that don't know what email marketing is, basically it's when you collect an email and start marketing products to it. Um, that's essentially the, the basics of it. And it accounts for about 30%, maybe even 35% on, on the higher months of my business sales. So if you're not taking advantage of this, you definitely should be taking advantage of it. And I'm gonna show you how right now, but if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're about to drop some dope content that you guys are gonna to get tons of value out of. And if you're not subscribed, you're gonna start missing out on the, you know, the videos we do in the future. So definitely do that. And uh, yeah, let's jump in. So email marketing. There is basically three uh, different types of email marketing that, that I can kind of, uh, or that I use at least. Um, there are other types like subcategories of these, um, but these are the three main ones that I use. So the first one is called abandoned cart. So I'm sure tons of you guys have heard about abandoned cart emails and email series. There's bunches of uh, different softwares that send them out automa automatically. Uh, we'll go over how to set all these up in a future video and you know one of the next parts. But um, abandoned cart is essentially when somebody adds something to their cart, but they don't actually purchase it, but you still have their email so you can start emailing them later. Okay, so we'll go over the strategy here. The next one is newsletter. Okay, newsletter are people that sign up to your newsletter or sign up for a discount or something like that. They are basically your general base level subscribers. Um, that haven't shown necessarily any interest in purchasing, but they are at least interested enough to start receiving marketing emails from you. So these would be considered cold leads, these would be considered warm leads, and then I'll show you another one, the other category which is considered a hot lead, um, which means that they're very likely to purchase, and that is your customer list. Okay, so these are the three different types of email marketing that you can go into, and there's a little bit different strategy that you should approach when it comes to these different uh, different groups of people. So, like I said, um, this one is definitely the uh, brings me the most profit and the most income is the new customer list um, and customer list in general. Then next to that would probably be this one and then this one. Um, so, and the only reason is because these people have bought something, so they're more likely to buy stuff, you know, in the future because they've already purchased. So, that being said, let's go into the strategy on how you should actually go about doing these. So for abandoned cart, I basically uh, set up four emails. So I'll just do one, two, three, and four. Hopefully you can see all these, I think you can. Um, so yeah, so four emails. Some people do three, I just like doing four. I think it makes kind of more sense, but you know, you can do whatever. But uh, the first email is, is, it's just gonna be a reminder email. Okay, so you're basically just going to remind the person, the customer, that they have something in their cart that they can go check out. Uh, just making sure that they didn't get distracted. Maybe they had to take the dog out, you know, whatever it is. Um, just send them a reminder that uh, there's still stuff in their cart that they can go purchase. And I usually send this after about four hours. Um, let me put hours. Okay, I usually send that about after four hours. I've tested with two hours, tested with 60 minutes, tested with six hours. Um, for me, this one works the best. But uh, you know, I would recommend testing it out and, and seeing. Okay, number two is gonna be a reminder email, okay? But we're gonna add urgency. So what I mean by this is that you're gonna remind the customer, hey, you got something in your cart, but we're gonna add urgency by saying, hey, listen, um, you know, this deal, or we're only gonna save your cart for the next 12 hours, the next 24 hours, whatever you wanna make it. Um, so if you, uh, you know, if you wait longer than that, then your cart will expire and you won't get the deal. Which usually when I'm running, um, you know, different, usually when I'm at running advertisements to things, I, uh, I run deals. So I'll do like a 25% off, 50% off, whatever it is. So people understand that they're getting a deal. So if I say that, you know, your card's going to expire and you might lose the deal, then they might be more likely to buy. Okay. So I usually do this after a full day. Then the third email is going to be a coupon of some sort. And it could be a coupon incentive, uh, maybe buy one, get one free, whatever you want to make it uh, to get people to to be more incentivized to purchase. You can do whatever you want here. Um, but the reason I don't do it on the second or first email is because I don't want to just like come out swinging and give people money off uh, that probably would have purchased anyways with these two emails here. I would rather go through these two, have everybody buy from these that was going to, and then come in with the coupon later. Um, so yeah, so the coupon, like I said, could be anything. Uh, then the last one is a coupon plus urgency. Okay. Oh wait, I didn't put, okay, so the coupon I usually do after day two. 
And then this one I do after day three. Um, so it's just like, you know, one day in between. But the coupon plus urgency, essentially what that is, is, uh, you know, you give them the coupon. So say it's 50% off. You give them that coupon, but you say, hey, it only lasts for the next 12 hours. So go ahead and purchase now so you can redeem the coupon, something like that. Um, because this will make people more incentivized to go actually make the purchase. So these are the four emails that I use. Um, I will, I actually do have um, sort of templates that I use that you can build off of or you can use for yourself that I've linked down in the description below. So if you do want to check those out, you can check them out. Um, I probably will make templates for, for all these different ones um, that you can go ahead and check out if you so desire. But uh, that being said, go ahead and screenshot this because I'm about to erase it. So three, two, one. So that was abandoned cart. Now we're going to go into newsletter and customer emails, which are kind of similar. I treat them sort of similar, but there are a few key differences that I'll, that I'll talk about. So I like to think of it as a timeline. So I'm just going to draw out a little timeline here. So, whoop. And you could do it for any amount of time. I usually do it for two weeks. You could do it for three weeks. You could do it for a month. You could do it for six months. Like some people have six month email list. Doesn't really matter in the beginning, just get something going. Um, so I'd recommend like the two weeks would, would probably be good. So let's say this is day zero. So this is the day that they sign up. Uh, we consider that day zero. In day 14, so this will be after two weeks of them being on your email list. And the entire goal here, if they're on the newsletter, is obviously to get them to buy something. If they're a new customer, obviously, you know, keep retaining them as a customer and, and buy more stuff. So day zero, we're gonna do, okay, so day zero, we're gonna do the welcome and incentive. So what do I mean by this? If you're on a newsletter, basically you're gonna say, welcome to the newsletter, here's what you can expect, here's how often we email you, um, you know, what kind of information that you can get. You, you wanna establish right out the gate what kind of value they're gonna be getting um, from being on your newsletter. Um, but most importantly is if they're on your newsletter is you, um, you have to give them the incentive that they signed up for. So most of the time when you have a newsletter, people are signing up for either a coupon, maybe a free ebook, maybe some sort of free item giveaway, percentage off, whatever it might be that you're giving them um, to sign up to your newsletter. You wanna make sure that you give them that incentive right off the bat because that's why they signed up in the first place, right? So for the newsletter, definitely make sure that that's the case. For the new customers, you're gonna welcome them, tell them how long shipping time takes, how they can contact you, um, what else, how they can track their package, stuff like that. Um, and I'm also, in the new customer email, gonna give them another incentive, which would be maybe like 20% off your next purchase, something like that. And honestly, guys, like I said, this is my most profitable by far campaign. Um, so many people buy from that new customer email um, that I give them like 20% off. So definitely a good thing to do. And I'll leave a, a, that link. I'll have a, a template email for that uh, that you can check out. So uh, welcome in inside. Then after, I like to wait a day. So day two, let me actually spread this out a little bit. So, okay, day two, I'm gonna give them some sort of value, okay? So uh, what do I mean by that? Um, so let's say we're in like the fishing niche. What kind of value would those people be looking for? What kind of information would they be searching for? Um, I think they might be interested in like, you know, top 10 fishing lures for catfishing, or maybe something like the best uh, new fishing boats or the best time to catch a certain kind of fish, you know, the best techniques to use, things like that. You want to include um, either blog articles to other blogs or preferably you'd like to send them back to your website. So you could actually start a blog on your own website.